Today's Gospel, Thursday, September 17, is taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 to 50. A Pharisee invited him to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now, there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, The one I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Pebbles Puyat. In today's Gospel, let us imagine being in the shoes of the woman, the Pharisee, and Jesus. The woman knows that everyone knew that she is a sinner. Hearing that Jesus is in the Pharisee's house, she made her way behind him and not caring of what people would say, cried her heart out and showed remorse for her many sins. She made her love for Jesus felt by her act of wiping, kissing, and pouring perfume on Jesus' feet. The Pharisee, on the other hand, has a different view. He sees a violation on one of the regulations. Jesus is being touched by a sinful woman. Some Pharisees despise sinners who are the tax collectors, prostitutes, and all those who violate the law. And they consider themselves righteous because they obey the 613 commands. 
And then there is Jesus. He did not defend the woman by saying that she is sinless, but acknowledge her being sinful and forgives her. He shows so much love and compassion. All of us are sinners, and everyone needs God's forgiveness. Remember that God knows what is in our hearts. He knows our sins. Let us pray. Jesus, may I always have the courage to acknowledge my sins and ask for your forgiveness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.